Hi, I'm Kylie. And I'm Olivia. Hi, I'm Emma. Hi, I'm Natalie. Hi, I'm Audrey. Hi, I'm Sean. And this, this is, is Beauty, Beauty Babes. Babes. And this, this is Beauty Babes. Babes. And this is Beauty Babes. <laughs> this week on Beauty Babes, we are going to show you our skincare routines. So today we're talking about our skincare routine. Today we're going to be going over our skincare routine and we've been uh, selected to go together because we both have one product. So, yeah. Hey. Sean is now a beauty Sean babe. Beauty I've babe. always been a beauty babe. It's always been within you. So, I have very, very sensitive skin and I also have never had acne and I only get like one or two zits like every month. So I have combination skin, which means that it's like half oily and half dry. And it usually depends on the weather outside or like how I'm feeling um, a lot of times. So I've never really had acne, okay. which I guess I'm really lucky mm -hmm. because of that. I don't have oily skin. I guess I'm dry. What's your like skin <laughs> history? Like did you ever have acne? Oh yeah, yeah, and it's really bad. And I definitely have like hormone induced acne. Yeah, so my skin is uh, on my body. Um, nice. I, as, as far as I know, um, I, I really don't know. I didn't know there's how much that goes into skincare. Everyone else is using these like really I fancy know. words. I don't know what I am, like <laughs> combination, combination, whatever that two. means. Like, what are these things? I don't really know. I have been using Clinique skincare since I was like 15 years old. And my mom has been using Clinique skincare since like she was 15 years old. So my skincare oh, is type two. Tell. So I have like combination oily dry skin. I am oily to combo oily. We both start out by washing our face with Clinique. Mine's mild, what's yours? Um, liquid face soap, oily skin form. So yeah, that's what I do. I wash it usually only once a day at night. Then we both use what they call astringent which is my favorite thing in the whole world. I use number two. Yeah. And I have type three for this one. Yeah, and it burns so good. So then oh. the next step in the three-step process is the dramatically different moisturizing lotion. And yeah, so I have the step three, but my, like I said, mine's a gel. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and I definitely, at night, this is like my go-to routine. Much. This is where we differ in our skincare routines. Mm -hmm. I use um, Clinique Moisture Surge 72-hour replenishing hydrator. And let me tell you, this is the best primer, moisturizer, mm -hmm. anything you will ever buy for your skin. Yeah. I use this and this every morning, and then I use all four at night. Every other day is what I like to use for this. This is the Glow Recipe Watermelon Glow Sleep Mask. For this next product, I have, I can't even pronounce this, Oleo Herkinson. Yeah. Um, yeah, this is a face scrub, um, but I use this once a week or like or every two weeks, like not very much because it's very irritating. This is a rose water mist, um, which is like a hydrating and revitalizing spray. But also, it's a nice pick me up. So if I'm feeling kind of like dehydrated during the day, I can spray this, and it goes nicely over makeup and gives you a nice like, dewy finish. Again. This bag holds everything that I use in like the day and the morning, and. Sean has everything that he uses, right? Yeah, I do. Yeah, I don't know anything much much about like about skincare other than I put lotion on after I take a shower on my body. That's as far as I know about skincare. Basically, every time I wash my face, I use two different things to wash my face. So this is like the it's like clean and clear, like foaming face cleanser, and it's for sensitive skin because my skin is kind of sensitive. And I use that with this, which is like one of those con air things. And then I always follow it up with some type of like scrub. So I really like things that are like apricot based. Every week, every other week, just depending on like how much time I have, I use this Shea Moisture African Black Soap Clarifying Mud Mask. And it is so good for someone who has acne. And I also have acne. After I wash my face, I use um, like toner. So this is like Thayer's like witch hazel and it's like rose petal based. I like the way it smells and this one's alcohol free. So if you're using a toner that has alcohol in it, you shouldn't be using it. It'll just dry out your skin. So the first thing I do after I put the toner on is I use one of my like eye 
skin brighteners like un for like bags under your eyes. So this one is like Garnier from like Target. This is where it gets weird. I got this in Italy <laughs> and it's like a blurring eye balm thing that I completely don't understand, but I love it and it's really nice. And then I use this like Neutrogena on the spot acne treatment. And then I'll use um, some type of like lotion basically as sort of like my final step. So I alternate between this Clinique, like um, dramatically different moisturizing lotion. And then I have this, which is actually, so this is like a French skincare product. Um, and it's like a face cream because a lot of my skincare is like really based in like French practices because they'll wear like very little makeup um, and they'll just take really good care of their skin, which is sort of what I aim to do. And then to top it off, I like put some like lip balm on. Um, so this is like called Aero Boost. Um, it actually has like a little bit of color in it. So it makes your lips a little bit pinker when you use it. I really like it. It's really helpful. So that's my routine. My skincare routine uh, consists of water um, and chapstick. Um, I use the uh, the basic brand, Chapstick. Mm, nice. This one is the moisturizer, cool. cool Mint. Cool Mint. Yeah, I, I try to drink a gallon of water a day for multiple reasons. And I also, I, I drink uh, I drink a shot of aloe in the morning. It, um, it's good for your skin, it's good for your mental health, and um, it honestly tastes pretty good. I mean, it's all about taking care of your body. Like I have gone through every skincare phase there is. I did the Korean beauty care where I had like 10 products at once. I took like a prescription. I didn't even like ever have like that much acne, but I just like, even if there was like a little bit on my face, I just didn't like it. Um, and then now I've gotten to the laziest point in my life. I used to try a bunch of face washes. Yeah. But all of them made me break out. So then for a while, I didn't do anything. I would mm -hmm. splash some water on my face every morning and night, and that was the entirety of my skincare routine. And I'm gonna confess, just this year, I started washing my face. <laughs> this is a new thing for me. This is not a daily thing. This is a, if I remember when I'm in the shower, kind of a deal. Okay, what I found is that like, no matter what I do, my skin just kind of stays the same. So it's like, why would I put like extra product on it? And I don't like putting things on my face. I like, my mom is so weird about me putting like my hands on my face even, or just like things. So like even moisturizer I never use because I'm just like, ugh, what if that like breaks me out? I'm trying, I'm trying to get better, I'm trying to do the daily use thing, morning <laughs> and night. <laughs> the fact that I own this is it's, a step I drink a lot of water. <laughs> I think that like, I don't know, I feel like that probably helps a lot. Yeah, maybe. water's really good for your skin. Mm -hmm. I can't believe even Sean showed us up. I know, with his aloe, aloe shots. shots. Yeah, I have Bare Minerals Purifying Facial Cleanser. And this is the first thing oh, yes. that I found that didn't make me break out. This is Aveeno Clear Complexion Foaming Cleanser. Ooh. I feel like factors like that break me out than like what products I put on my face. Oh, I'm like so sorry. Like diet, sensitive. like yeah, diet, sleep, um, and makeup too actually. Yeah, yeah, I only wear Bare Minerals makeup too. Oh. I think that's kind of interesting because Again, I just have super sensitive skin, yeah. and that's what I've been wearing since middle school. Mm -hmm. And it's so nice, and like even if you fall asleep wearing it, you don't break out because it's all natural. Do you wear a lot of makeup? I tend not to because I get scared that like it's going to break out my skin. That's like the only reason that I don't put it on. Like I won't put on concealer just because like whenever I feel like I have something on my skin, it kind of freaks me out. I have like a Bare Minerals like powder foundation okay. that I like a lot, and so it's pretty good for daily use. Yeah. So like if you just have like some redness or something, like it's good or like hide some mm -hmm. the bags under your eyes. I will also say I do the occasional face mask if I'm like really in the mood or if I'm just like, you know what, I want to have a self-care day. But I feel like that's just me pretending to be a skincare person. I love getting them like in gifts and things just so I can like use mm -hmm. it when I'm, you know, studying and I want to relax. But exactly. It's just like a facade. Mm -hmm. I have a skincare secret. Secret. Okay, everyone can come in. Um, my mom taught me this. If you ever get any pimples on your face, you should dab apple cider vinegar on them. Wait, that's a great tip. The Sean Haw method for uh, all of you out there on Facebook is just water and chapstick and drinking aloe. And it's like 10 different things from many different places for me. And that's our mm, skincare that's routine. <laughs> you can judge me off of my skincare. Um, 
I swear by it. My mother swears by it. I'm gonna make her swear by it. It's the best, on it. it's the best skincare line of anything that you can use, especially if you have sensitive skin.